Hi, welcome to Papa's Workshop. In today's video, I went ahead and brought out the Diwali uh, laser engraver again to be able to show you some new accessories that they have introduced to the market. And I think they're pretty exciting. The nice thing about this, the honeycomb platform can not only be used for the Diwali laser, but it can be used for many of the other lasers as well, including the CO2 lasers. The other accessory that I'm going to talk about is the air assist. And again, it fits very nicely on the Diwali uh, laser engraver, but it also will fit on many of the other diode lasers out there on the market. So this is a very nice development that they have done, and I want to show you how to set it up today and some of the features and benefits of having these upgrades. When you first purchase a diode laser and you're just beginning into the laser engraving hobby, more than likely you don't buy that honeycomb work uh, platform. You just buy the laser itself to be able to get you started. And that works just fine because with that, you're going to be able to engrave all types of different material. And it doesn't matter if it's wood, if it's cork or slate or so many other different possibilities. But at some point, you're going to want to start being able to cut those projects out. Whether it's the cork, leather, um, the wood, you're going to want to be able to cut them out. And to be able to cut these different projects out, now you're going to have to have some means to be able to raise the work piece up off of your waste board because you don't want to destroy the waste board. And on top of that, you need to have the air circulation around it. And in addition, if you have some type of air extraction uh, fan, you're going to need to be able to have that raised up so that you're going to be able to pull those exhaust fumes away. When I first started, I used a cookie cooling sheet. But that has some nice big holes in it, and some of the wood chips would actually fall down in there and get in the way sometimes. But this did work quite nicely for a while. If you have the cookie sheet just here, you're still going to damage your workbench or the wasteboard that you have your laser sitting on. So in that case, the first thing that I did, I went to the local big box store and just picked up a 12 by 18 uh, piece of sheet metal. And that worked actually nicely. Now, one of the things that I did do, I went ahead and painted this on a gray and that worked out real well. It wasn't really necessary, but that's something that I decided to do. And that worked real well to have this down to protect the wasteboard or in my case, the workbench. And then I used the cookie sheet. And this is how I cut through the material for quite a while. But this definitely had some drawbacks. The good thing about it though, <laughs> it was inexpensive because other than the $5 piece of sheet metal, I already had the cookie cooling sheet. From there, I did do an upgrade. So I went ahead, got rid of this. And I upgraded to this one. Now I used this honeycomb uh, work bed for quite some time and it works great for small pieces. But if I'm having to do maybe two of these four by four, it would work great. But if I have something larger than this, then it ended up hanging over the edges and that didn't work too well. So after a period of time, I went ahead and retired this one. I've seen a lot of people use the metal lath uh, for the stucco and other different products. But one of the biggest drawbacks is they're not always flat. And this is where the Diwali honeycomb work platform came into play because this offered a very nice alternative. One, it's much larger. It's much larger and it covers the entire bed. And this is actually designed so that you can have and use this on multiple different lasers. And I'll show you that in a moment. In addition, it does come with this sheet as well. So we can put this sheet down first. And then we can actually put down the honeycomb uh, work platform. Now these have some plastic protective edges that can come off if you need to be able to, for whatever reason, uh, remove those, they're easily to be removed. But I'm going to leave them on. Now, 
From there, I can put this right underneath here. With this in place now, not only can I do multiple different projects at the same time, I've got plenty of room to do, for an example, with a template. So if I'm not doing coasters and I'm doing a different type of project, this one also will accommodate a larger piece of the plywood. For an example, this plywood is the 12 by 12, and you can see that will just fit right in there nicely, and I can set it up exactly where I need to have it, and I can run a fairly large project. So having this honeycomb platform is absolutely fantastic because one, it gives you a good flat surface that you can be able to put your materials on. In addition, it allows to have the airflow. So when you put in your air extraction, it'll be able to pull those fumes out and get them away from the laser and from you breathing it. Now the honeycombs themselves, these are roughly seven millimeters is the, the diameter of this hole. And in addition to that, it is made out of aluminum, so it's not going to cause any type of problems that you have. The thickness of this board is about 22 millimeters, and it does have a very sturdy metal frame. In addition, you do have the grid that is printed on here so that you can align things very easily. And as I said a few moments ago, if you have a CO2 laser, depending on the size, this very well could fit inside the CO2 laser as well to be able to support the material. So again, that's gonna be dependent on the size. This honeycomb uh, work table is very, very well made. It's strong, it's flat. I like having the grid on here so that you can actually measure and place your items exactly where they need to be. I like the fact that it takes up the majority of the entire work bed so that you can laser larger projects. And this is a great accessory to be able to add to the enjoyment of the laser engraver and this wonderful hobby that we so much all enjoy. Now I know that a lot of you have different machines out there, whether it be the Sculpin S9, Fox Alien, or a number of the other ones. So what I wanna do is take the Dewali and we're gonna set it aside for a moment. And you can see the Fox Alien, it works just fine and sits in there very nicely. And how about the X-Tool D1? Yes, sure enough, it fits in there quite nicely as well. So let's look at the Sculpin S9 and you can see that the honeycomb work table sits in there very nicely and that would work perfect. So regardless of the machine that you have, you can pretty much bet that it's going to fit and work nicely for your particular laser. Now, if you need to have a honeycomb work table, I'm gonna have a link in the description for a discount code so that you can go to the Diwale site and be able to purchase this honeycomb uh, work table. Because if you don't have one and if you're and if you're using something like the cookie sheet, it might be time to upgrade. And this is a good way to do it. One of the things that I found out very quickly is having a small one just did not work out for a lot of the projects that I was doing. So I'm very glad that I've been able to upgrade now and have the larger honeycomb work table. This is going to make a big difference in the shop. The next thing that I want to do is show you the new Air Assist by the Diwali. Again, this is a very nice unit and it can be adapted to a number of the different diode lasers that are on the market. Now, this is how the Air Assist comes in this box right here. Now, I've already removed the packing, so I'm just going to go ahead and take everything out of the box again. And we'll set the box out of the way. Now, this is the pump itself that you're gonna have with this. It does have the minimum and the off, and you can turn it all the way up to the maximum. 
you do have the DC 12 volt uh, input right here. And on the back, you have the air outlet. Of course, you're gonna have the adapter and the power cord. And this will just simply plug in right there. And this part right here is what makes this so special. Let me go ahead and take and undo this. This little bracket right here actually will be able to fit on a number of the different lasers. And then you also have a little set screw right here so that you can adjust this nozzle up or down to be able to focus this air right at the point that you need it. In addition, you have an extra nozzle tip. And if you have different size hoses, You also have these adapters right here. These adapters are actually quite nice because if you have a different size hose, this makes it very easy to be able to plug in the different size hoses. So for an example, if I plug this in right here, that will go in perfectly. If I have a smaller hose, I could plug that hose in and be just fine. There is a quick release just push this down like that, and it will be released and come out. This one, again, this one is designed so that that will fit in there. And then you know, on this end, you have a larger diameter hole. So that's a nice feature. If you want to secure the air pump to the work table, you can do that. You do get the four screws that you need to be able to secure it. You also get some little ties that you can secure the hose. And you also have some extra set screws should you need those. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the end of the hose and plug it in right here. And you'll find that very easy to be able to do. Now I'm going to set this out of the way for a moment and show you how to be able to connect this. One of the things that I really like about the Diwali laser is this has the four little magnets. So it makes it where this shield will come off very, very easily. This actually just snaps on right here, right at the base of the laser. And then I can tighten this set screw right there and that will hold it in place. just like that. And this already has a notch in it, so this easily can just slide right back into place. To adjust the height of this laser, you're gonna use this little plate right here, and then be able to rotate this down, and you can adjust the height of that nozzle right here by loosening it and lowering this or raising it, whatever is necessary to direct the airflow exactly where you need it on your work material. Guys, that's just how easy it is to be able to set this up. Now I want to show you, I'm going to grab a laser by Fox Alien and I'm going to set this same attachment up on the Fox Alien laser. Now this is a Fox Alien and this is a 20 watt laser right here that you can see. And this laser uh, is gonna be able to adapt very easily. I wanna show you how easy it is to be able to change it. First, I'm gonna go ahead and just take that off and then I'll loosen this screw. And that just slips right off. From there, it can come over to the Fox Alien laser. Unscrew this just a little bit more. That slips on. I can tighten this set screw. And I now have the air assist on a Fox Alien laser. 
And again, you can adjust the height as necessary to be able to move this nozzle up or down anywhere that you need it to be able to have it pointing directly at your project at the focal point of the laser beam. Once you have it there, just tighten it back down. So very well thought out design. I like how this is working and I like the fact that I can put it on any of the lasers that I have. And to change it, just slip it off. And in this case, I'll put it back on the Diwali laser. And in less than a minute, I have it all back together, ready to go again. I'm going to go ahead and take the adapter and plug it in. Now I'm not adjusting the sound at all. This is exactly how noisy that it is. So as I turn the volume down and it off, turn it on and that brings it all the way up to the maximum. I know on some of my projects with the different lasers, I wish I had an air pump and I didn't have a way to be able to um, use one from one machine to another. Well, with a Diwali air pump now, I have the opportunity to be able to do just that. So if I'm working on a particular project with the different machines and if I need to be able to have the air pump, I can just take this Diwali air assist and move it from one machine to another can't beat that. Now again, I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description below should you decide to purchase one of these and add it to your laser. I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for watching the video today and I hope you was able to learn a few things. Having this new honeycomb work table is absolutely fantastic along with the Diwali Air Assist is going to be a big game changer in my shop. It will make it where I can use the Diwali laser much easier and, of course, be able to share these accessories with the other lasers. Now, if you like this video today, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, while you're there, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification next to it so you won't miss out on any of the videos. And don't forget, I've got a discount code in the description so that you can save some money on either the honeycomb work table or the DeWalt Air Assist. Take advantage of that should you desire and need one in your shop. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next video that I do, whatever that may be. So for now, bye-bye.